Walt Disney's Bunny Book, told by Jane Werner. Illustrations by the Walt Disney Studio. Deep in the woods, where the briar bushes grow, lies Bunnyville, a busy little bunny rabbit town. And in the very center of that busy little town stands a cottage, a neat twig cottage with a neat brown roof, which is known to all as the very own home of Great Grandpa Bunny Bunny. Great Grandpa Bunny Bunny, as everybody knows, was the ancestral founder of the town, which is a very fine thing to be. He liked to tell the young bunnies who always gathered around how he and Mrs. Bunny Bunny, when they were very young, had found that very briar patch and built themselves that very same little twig house. It was a happy life they lived there, deep in the woods, bringing up their bunny family in that little house of twigs. And of course, Daddy Bunny Bunny, as he was called then, was busy at his job, decorating Easter eggs. As the children grew up, they helped paint Easter eggs, and soon they were all grown up with families of their own, and they built a ring of houses all around their parents' home. By and by, they had a town there, and they called it Bunnyville. Now Grandpa Bunny Bunny looked for other jobs to do. He taught the young folk to paint flowers in the woods, they tried out new shades of green on mosses and ferns. They made those woods so beautiful that people said, the soil must be especially rich. But the bunnies knew that it was all Grandpa Bunny Bunny's doing. Years went by. Now there were still more families in Bunnyville, and Grandpa Bunny Bunny had grown to be Great Grandpa Bunny Bunny. Now he had so much help that he looked around for other jobs to do. He taught the bunnies to paint autumn leaves. Through the woods they scampered with their brushes and pails, and people would say to themselves, never has there been so much color in these woods. The nights must be especially frosty hereabouts. But the bunnies knew that it was all their great-grandpa's plan. And so it went, as the seasons rolled around, and there were constantly more bunnies in that busy Bunnyville. And Great Grandpa was busy finding jobs for them to do. He taught them in winter to paint shadows on the snow, and pictures in frost on wintry window panes, and to polish up the diamond lights on glittering icicles. And between times, he told stories to each crop of bunny young around the cozy fire in his neat little twig home. The bunny children loved him and his funny bunny tales. And they loved the new and different things he found for them to do. But at last, it did seem as if he thought of everything. He had crews of bunnies trained to paint the first tiny buds of spring. He had teams who waited beside cocoons to touch up the wings of new butterflies. Some specialized in beetles, some in creeping, crawling things. They had painted up that whole wild wood till it sparkled and it gleamed. And now the bunnies wondered, what would he think of next? Well, Great Grandpa stayed at home a lot those days and thought and thought and thought. And at last, he told a secret to that season's bunny boys and girls. Children, Great Grandpa Bunny Bunny said, I am going to go away, and I'll tell you what my next job will be if you'll promise not to say. So the bunny children promised, and Great Grandpa went away. The older bunnies missed him, and often they looked sad. But the bunny children only smiled and looked extremely wise, for they knew a secret 
they had promised not to tell. Then one day, a windy rainstorm pelted down on Bunnyville. Everyone scampered speedily home and stayed cozy and dry indoors. After a while, the rain slowed down to single dripping drops. Then every front door opened and out the bunny children ran. Oh, it's true, those bunnies shouted. And they did a bunny dance. Great Grandpa's been at work again. Come see what he has done. And the people walking out that day looked up in pleased surprise. Have you ever, they cried, simply ever seen a sunset so gorgeously bright? The little bunnies heard them and they chuckled silently, for they knew it was all Great Grandpa Bunny Bunny's plan. <laughs>